not a DIY wedding because I'm not into DIY. Oh, I so yeah, basically, still wearing still wearing. Maureen. Still wearing in, in, God, the food's amazing. I can't believe you're saying this on the camera. Oh, and we've got our list of costumes here. Blokes running wind. Is that no. the kind of Yeah. Can't pull this off. You look ridiculous. Oh, daft, and <laughs> so Steve's ring. Where did I get it from? Oh no. <laughs> This is a different video I'm bringing in because look at that. <laughs> yeah, that's my yeah, it's been three months. So when this video goes out, three joyful months. <laughs> we've been married for three months when this video goes out to tomorrow. So yeah, basically, still, still wearing my ring. Still wearing his ring. He said he won't gonna. We'll laugh. We'll laugh. We'll laugh. We'll talk about that ring that should make you laugh, even though you wanted it. Anyway. We thought we'd talk about our wedding that we did on a budget, but not a DIY wedding, because I'm not into DIY. But well, we did do it. If you want to see some DIY, what do you mean DIY? DIY do it yourself, it? as in make your own this, make your own that. Although we did make oh, our own okay. wedding invites. Oh, the lighting's gone very dark. What is that? So, we've got a DIY gardening video. If you want to watch that, that's the previous one. See, Steve did some DIY. But for the wedding, we are very busy, so we didn't have a lot of time. And you've been married married previously. I've had a bit of a situation in the past. So we wanted to do more money on our honeymoon and less money on the actual wedding. And we wanted a small wedding, didn't we? The, well, wedding the, we the wanted... reason we want to spend more money on the honeymoon than the wedding is the wedding lasts a day. Honeymoon's two weeks or whatever, and it'd be decent. Yeah. So we are going to talk about having the wedding you want and not what you think others want because we wanted to keep it small, really small. So we wanted to do a very small ceremony and then a meal because we love food, don't we? We're fooders. So what did we come up with? Well, was it, well at first we were just going to... Well, we went through different phases, didn't we? At first it was going to just be you and me getting married. Then it was like, yeah. oh, we better invite the kids. Yeah. And then it was like, oh, we need to invite your sisters. Yeah. And my mum and dad. Mm -hmm. And then it was like, okay. And then, so it got a little bit bigger. Yeah. And we, I'm glad we did do that. I did, uh, in the smaller family, I'm glad we did that. So what we did was get married at the local registry office. Yeah, there's a very nice registry office. Isn't yeah. It? So you can see on that photo there, there's a church behind and it's a really nice church. garden. It's definitely a castle <laughs> or a wall, but it's, it's it's decent, it's nice. <laughs> yeah, it's a beautiful castle, and beautiful grounds, and it, we got married June the 8th, which the weather-wise, it was very windy that day, but very it was dry, wasn't yeah. it, at that time we got yeah, married? Yeah, if there was no wind, it would have been perfect. Right, sorry, I've just had to change the background because the light kept coming in. So, um, we got married later in the day. Obviously, we didn't have to do canapes and all hanging around waiting for photos. In fact, I didn't wasn't really bothered about having a photographer watch me get ready and do everything that is traditional. So what we did was get married at the registry office and we've got our list of costumes here. Well, so, let's start off the night before the wedding. I had to stay away. So I picked a really fancy hotel. No, you didn't. Go and tell them. It, well, it's, it was decent. So me, Cole and Luke had to get out of the house. So we went to the Ashiana Hotel, which I'm guessing the hotel is mainly used for blokes renting wind. Is that no. the kind of yeah, it definitely is. Why else would you go there? Oh, I reckon it's that. It might not be. Anyway, might have it all wrong. But the Ashiana is in India. The food's amazing. I can't believe you're saying this on the camera. Oh, it's it's, it's curry. Anyway, yeah, the food was brilliant, but the hotel we had one room between the three of us. And yeah, it was... I think it was toss where you were. No, we didn't. So want I was at home. So I was at home with me and Bella and Amber. So that's Bella's my daughter and stepdaughter, and Cole's your son and my. And stepson. Oh. <laughs> you were living the dream. I saw you, what you got to live. Yeah. We had nothing. We had a good time actually. So what we, so the night before we had food together. You had food. Then the morning of, we got brunch delivered. So I did invest in that, which was like twenty five quid for three of us. Not bad, is it? No, we went to the pub and had some breakfast and some beer, so we were all right as well. No, you didn't. Yeah, we did. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I didn't care. Then we, I had my makeup done, the bridesmaids, with Colin and bridesmaids had their makeup done, so that was a cost of £115. 
So we could have gone more DIY where I could have done my hair, own hair and makeup, but I didn't want those things doing to feel a bit more luxury. So I had my hair done, bought hair extensions from Milk and Blush. Because they're on offer and I waited and waited for them to be on offer and I got quite a good discount, but you don't care. Anyway, so then you had, we had no flowers because I couldn't be best. Well, you just said you didn't want any. But no. I was a little bit like, oh, I bet she actually does. <laughs> so the weekend, the week before, the weekend before, I just went and ordered like three bouquets from uh, Bill and Bloom's. And they were nice, weren't they? Yeah, so we all, he had them surprise delivery, yeah. which was sweet. That was about 100 quid, wasn't it? Yeah, it was yeah. about 100 quid. There she is. Oh. So that was a nice surprise. So we did have flowers in the end for me and the two girls. And then the registry office cost us five, about £500 because it was a Saturday. And um, that included two marriage certificates because they did so that was good registry office was in there like 15 minutes and we got married at quarter four so then we'd had time it where we went to the pub Whitaker's at Long Bennington for our evening food at five so we timed it all but during that we had the photographer and I had her for my business headshots and I thought she was really good really friendly I loved her photos she showed me her Instagram so she came for two hours and it was 500 pounds and her photos were fab and natural, we wanted well, to come. Yeah, we didn't want loads of posing ones. We still did some group photos though, didn't we? We did some group ones, and I do think now, oh, I wish I had a photo with them on my own and bits like that, but then... Yeah, but you didn't. You, you didn't, and you, don't, you only look at them once. So I, if you do want to spend less, but we got hundreds of photos, so don't even think, you can get a lot done in two hours, but you've got to be very organized, which I was. We wrote a list of the, um, photos that we wanted because they give you guidance for that so we got those done within the two hours she came to the venue as well within those two hours because it was only up the road she took photos of our cakes that we've black like brownies and have a traditional wedding cake and what else did she take photos of our blooms that we had set up and all the flowers the fake flowers on the table I mean and all the guests so it was really sweet really nice so we did that then went to Whitaker's for our evening meal at five and they did us a good deal and we paid for drinks for the guests, the evening guests, and 30, 30 evening guests, that's what we had. Not evening guests. 30 wedding breakfasts then, what do you call Definitely it? Definitely not wedding breakfasts either. What is it? What, when we have the meal? Yeah, what do they call it traditionally? Well, it can't be a breakfast, we're at five o'clock in the evening. <laughs> I'm going to guess it's called a wedding meal, surely. Why have we not got wedding breakfast one? We had welcome. We had arrival drinks when we got there. Yeah, we? we sorted out that's arrival drink each. So what, Corona and a prosecco and soft drink. Then we had a three course dinner, which was amazing. That, <laughs> that was fifty pound a head. Yeah, that was well worth it. We got a bit of discount. Not going to lie here because we, you know, the owners, so yeah. we got some discounts. So. That might be a little bit different, but that was a bargain, and we didn't want the f a first dance. We only had a few extra, like people who I work with, people who you work with, and a couple of friends that came in the evening. So it was really small and intimate. It was really nice. Um, and the evening we had food, which was five hundred quid. Way too much. We bought. You don't need that much. No, no which, we had loads left over. It was flatbreads with different toppings, like goat's cheese and caramelised onion. There was fries, sweet potato fries, it was perfect, there was loads. Then we had brownies made by KJ Bakes in Newark, and they were £108. This is just a bargain. I don't There's like traditional... Tons just, of them left There was there loads. Well. We had right. all flavours, caramel, flake, or twirl. Um, I think because we had the meal uh, sat down at five, by the time we finished it, it was probably half six. It was seven. Seven, right. The speeches then, were at seven. And then people are drinking and that. So nobody, when they bring out the rest of the food, it's only people coming for the evening do who's going to have any. Isn't that right? Same with the brownies. Yeah, we didn't think of that. So we probably went over the we top over of the top. evening food and brownies. We got sweets from Sweeters UK. They were good. They were on TikTok. Yeah. They were really nice. A big, two we big jars. Of them for the wedding as well. Yeah. I bought little jars to fill them up in, in, in Amazon from Amazon and then we took delivered them. I got a sweet uh, stand that says have a treat 
basics. Yeah, really. some the basic thing on Amazon. Um, videographer. So we got a videographer again, pulled some strings, and we use him for a lot of our fitness stuff. So he did a couple of videos. I might actually insert a snippet right now. Yeah. We paid for, so I didn't want to decorate my own tables, and we paid someone local. She she asked for our budget. I said five hundred quid, but it came in around four hundred. That was for, that for all the decor. I can show you a picture. I'll put it in. And then for the evening as well, we had balloons and an arch with Mr. and Mrs. on it, and that was about two hundred and twenty pounds for another local business. I can't remember what they're called. But um, that was recommended by Jodie, who did the decor of the tables. So yeah, the videographer we didn't pay for either. Did we? No, I said that. You didn't say that. I said we pulled some strings. Yeah. So we didn't pay for that. Um, suits. You did them all off ASOS. Yeah, I, yeah. I just went on, found some decent ones for Cole and Luca. They were probably I don't know, hundred quid each. And then mum was probably hundred quid as well. But the trousers. Three hundred and one pound. All right, yeah, most probably. I then have to nip to next to get some trousers. Yeah. And they're all pulled together decent. That included shoes. Yeah, no, I didn't, as well. I don't think, no, we didn't have shoes. Separate? That is separate. We've got the shoes, boys' white trainers. Oh, yeah, that's what we What, mate, were they Ralph Lorenz? Uh, Tommy or three. Tommy. Just, we wanted something decent that they then wear again, rather than go and get some wedding shoes. Yeah. And then them going never going to wear these again yeah. and they look decent in trainers I put some trainers on and you know when you go alright you can't you can't pull this off you look ridiculous oh, daft didn't I <laughs> you so look I like my shoes an 8 year old trying to be just too old to pull it off it didn't work did it <laughs> no all about your age anyway I'm just making that all up right so then we got shoot. the girls dresses was from Stacey's with Stacey spelled with two E's at the end and an S they were beautiful didn't get made yeah. to measure, so I just did Bella as a size eight and Amber as a size four by measuring them, but didn't do the made to measure. They came within three weeks. They fitted perfect. I'm so impressed with that. And we got like a grey colour to match like the grey. Oh, one thing we did do wrong when we ordered the boys' stuff, we weren't expecting Luca to shoot up a foot in height. Oh, so yeah. what didn't fit him was it just the? It was just the jacket, but just we the waistcoat. We didn't worry. The trousers looked a bit shorter, but not. Yeah, he bad. pulled them off with the trainers. Yeah. And then my dress was from Wed to Be, um, which was about 800 quid, including the underskirt. And then I had it altered by Petit Asai. And she then, I thought, a week before the wedding, I thought, I want to make it the dress a bit more unique to me. So I saw something on Instagram where you can have bows like, coming off here. So she did it all for me. It was brilliant. Amazing. She really helped me. So the few days before the wedding, uh, she sorted that out for me. And then I picked the dress up of the morning of the wedding. It was all ready. It was just like spot on. And I got some diamond looking fake, obviously, for earrings and a necklace from there for like £18. Bargain. <laughs> oh, rings. <laughs> So Steve's ring. Where did I get it from? Online. Probably the um, first one that came up when I typed in Google men's wedding rings. Titanium wedding rings. You the titanium. So my wedding ring, which to be fair, it looks decent. Decent. It's just it is what it is. That was forty five quid. The reason being Steve wasn't that bothered is because he's not bothered about wearing a wedding ring. Who were you? You wearing it? And if I'm wearing it in the gym, I'm gonna get it bust up. So I don't want. Yes. I don't want gold where it's all soft or whatever. Mine's yeah. platinum with fluid diamonds. Yeah, yours is. <laughs> and we're for few. No, this was a. So basically, where Steve got the ring from, we went back in there and he. Oh, he needs cleaning now. He's good. He just needs to have a, a fair bit of time because he want to chat to you and show you everything. Yeah. But if you want to get diamonds, he's the best. Yeah. What's, what's the shop called? And, no, I don't know. Adam Wallace. Adam Wallace. Yeah, yeah. Diamonds in Europe, he's the best person to go to. By far. Honestly, it's beautiful. So I was so happy that we got this ring, and it's 
because my size and it looks really good, doesn't it? So I was really happy with that. So then we wanted a better honeymoon, a better honeymoon, a bit more of a luxury honeymoon. So we asked Gina Barton, who's a travel counsellor, can you do us a honeymoon to Thailand? She said recommend Thailand because November. And at first she came up with a beautiful setting for five grand. And I said, well, I wanted to go a bit more luxury than that. So we have gone a bit crazy for Thailand. Ooh. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so a bit expensive, but we're going to stay in three different places for two weeks. I can't wait. One's a tent. One's a tent in Elephant Hills. So we are, we will share the honeymoon. I can't wait. We're going now in two months, literally probably about 10 weeks. Mm -hmm. oh, we didn't even know that. So yeah, just all have the wedding. Oh yeah, guest wise. Don't invite all the idiots who you don't want to be there. No, not idiots. Don't invite your cousins you, you, never, you never see. Don't invite people, you, yeah, just people you don't want to be there. I think at weddings, people either they want to make them massive, so people go, oh, look, they've got a massive wedding, or they feel they have to invite every family member they haven't seen in 10 years, and you're thinking, mm. why bother? We What's want, the point? Yeah, I want, we didn't want a big wedding. I didn't want it to be awkward or people I hadn't seen for a long, long time. I just wanted a very small and it, we got what we wanted and people that love you and care for you won't care they won't actually care well i remember luke said luke goes can you remember the band i had at my wedding it was about luke's wedding and i said no had a band i was thinking i know we'd have a few to drink i can't remember he goes yeah exactly we didn't have a band nobody remembers our no. what you do anyway no they should just be happy if you get married yeah do, don't do you do you don't overthink it uh, do a DIY wedding if you want, DIY wedding if you want, do a luxury wedding if you want, but think about why you're doing these things because I'll tell you now, four friends or people I know said if they could do it all again, they wouldn't have spent as much and they wouldn't have invited as many people, which is quite sad really. And how many brides don't get to speak to everyone, then wake up next day, feel guilty. And I did that because I didn't speak to everybody and there weren't that many people there. It just shows you. No, so it's one of those ones, if you've got 100 people there in the evening, if you spend even just one minute speaking to everybody, mm. it's, it's a lot of time, so you end up not doing that. Exactly. So I hope this has helped anybody plan a wedding or going to, you know, thinking about it for the future. And the canvas prints. Oh yeah, the we had that. Was that, that was just from somewhere on, online. Yeah, they, they, were really, they were really cheap. We spent about 150 quid. Oh, I reckon they were We got four, like quite big ones, all that size. Mm. Was it four? No, five. So we've got three in the living room, we've got that one. And one upstairs. And one upstairs, so we've got five for about 100, no, about 200 odd. Do you reckon? Yeah, about 200, I think, or yeah. So we're well happy with that. So yeah, thank you for watching. If you want to watch previous videos of what we've been up to, um, and then I need to start doing more content around our training, healthy eating, bear with me. I'm definitely doing a holiday one, so that'll be coming. And that's it, any questions, comment below. Oh, 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 oh,